Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ama ba'd ayyul ahabbati fillah In response to the question that was posed by a brother in Denmark as he says in his email and you can read the email because I just want to deal with this very briefly and simply and may Allah bless us with tawfiq He said I'm your brother from Denmark I'm in jama' who is other than who is the other Salafia camp, the anti-Saudi camp. Uh, the, thing, the thing is that not everyone in this camp is the same in regards to opinion. Some have clear ghulu opinions and others do not. Okay, we're going to deal with this step by step and phase by phase. May Allah bless us and bless the brother with guidance and forgive us and forgive him. I mean, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Uh, first and foremost, the statement, I'm in a jama'ah, who is the other Salafiyah, is a statement which is batil, mabni al batil. It is falsehood, which is built upon falsehood. And let me tell you why. First and foremost, Ahabit that there is no other type of Salafiyah. There's not two, three, four, five types of uh, a Salafiyah. And this is imperative for us to understand this, that the enemies of Islam, and those people who criticize Islam, and those people who criticize the da'wah to Ahl sunnah and those people who criticize Salafiyyah, that they have these types of criterion and these types of categorizations. And they are as such. For one, you will hear many of the people from Ahl bidah who criticize the da'wah to Ahl sunnah in this day and age, they'll say there are Salafi jihadiya, Salafi takfiriya, Salafi... Uh, 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 all these different categories for Salafia. Some say that they're Salafi jihadi. They will even classify themselves as that. Some will say they they call themselves Salafi takfiri and classify themselves as that. But Ahlus Sunnah rejects all of those alqab, all of those statements, all of those names and attributes which are not befitting and have nothing to do with Ahlus Sunnah. We don't say I'm Ahlus Sunnah sal, uh, Ahl Sunnah. Uh, Sufia, Ahl Sunnah Ikhwan al Muslimin, Ahl Sunnah Tablighiya, I'm uh, Salafi Tablighi. No, but rather Ahl Sunnah goes by principles. And the way that you know that someone is Salafi is, to, is not in their name, not in what they call themselves, not even who they necessarily associate with, associate themselves with, is not sufficient. As the ulama of Islam, state in the principle, the qa'idah, fiqiyya, it's a fiqh principle, which is al-ibra, bi haqaiq, laysa bi musammiyat, that the ibra, the proof of something, is, in, uh, is not in its name, but rather it's in its substance. Meaning, how do we apply this to aqidah? How do we apply this to this uh, discussion we're having? We apply this, ahabat by looking at the fact that it does not matter, someone calls himself Salafi. How many people who are extremists who are who call themselves Salafi? How many people who waste, who mumayr, who throw away the uh, the principles of the religion, claim Salafiya, but they pr compromise everything from the Dawah to Ahlu Sunnah? And how many people who have nothing to do with Salafiya claim Salafiya, but rather it is in their aqidah, their creed? And it is in their methodology for da'wah. And it is in their, uh, their suluk and adab and all of those things which com comprise of the deen. All of those things which make up the deen. That is how you make the judgment. And most important and first and foremost of those things is their creed. And you will find that these people who might share some aspects of the creed of Ahl Sunnah, for example, uh, you'll find that some of the, the groups... Uh, that are out there, contemporary people, that they share many of the, as far as al-asma'i wa sifat, as far as, you know, uh, the names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, about who Allah is and how to worship Him properly, but where they go astray and leave Salafiyah, so not a second type of Salafiyah, not a third type, not a fourth type, but they leave Salafiyah is in the issue of takfir. Perhaps it is one issue, their misunderstanding of takfir and their implementation and da'wah based upon it and their wasting of the principles of takfir and ignoring the principles of takfir based upon their ignorance, based upon their 
wish for destruction and fasad based upon their sickness in their heart. So these people are not Salafis. These people do not adhere to Kitabullah. Wa Sunnat Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ala fahm al-Salaf hadhi Ummah. They don't adhere to that, but yet they claim that, or you are deceived by that. That's very important. Number two, Ahabatifillah, is looking at the statement the anti-Saudi camp. No one is waving a flag for anyone. No one is waving a flag for anyone. I live in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, in my opinion, is the best place on earth to live as a Muslim, worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and trying to implement Kitabullah wa Sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is my view, my personal view. You can accept it. You can kick it to the side. That's up to you. I've lived here and I've lived in Yemen and I've lived in, I've been to places in Africa. I've lived, been to Egypt. I've been to many uh, different Muslim lands, Indonesia, other places. And this is my view as far as the implementation of the Sharia and as far as Islam being in the life and in the government and everything in, in the institutions. This is the best place to be practicing and Aqidatin, they push Tawheed. They teach Tawheed in their schools, Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and in their institutions, Walillah alhamd. And may Allah preserve them and guide them in their mistakes. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. So, whenever you have an anti-Saudi camp, that's something I really don't, don't care to, to get into. But what I will say is this, Ahabatifillah, is look to the evidence. Look to the people who for example, this person, this brother of ours from Denmark, who's being deceived by uh, shayateen there, and I and I say that they're shayateen, Sheikh Shaitan and Sheikh, uh, you know, Sheikh Iblis, because why? These are the same people who have made hijra and sought safety in a place like Denmark, but yet they make takfir of the land of Tawheed, where Tawheed is being pumped out. Regardless of the sins that are there, are you telling me Denmark is not full of sins? Some of these European countries where uh, human beings can marry animals and check the codes yourself? Check it. And you're telling me you're ruling by Allah's law? Wallahu musta'an. Wallahu musta'an. Come back to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and do not be deceived by the evil shayateen. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, al khawarij Kilab al nar he said the Khawarij are the dogs of the hellfire. So beware of anyone. I don't care if he's Sheikh so-and-so or Sheikh so-and-so who's, you know, encouraging you to spend your time while you're struggling just to practice your deen to make takfir of the leaders and to make takfir of your brothers and sisters in Islam. Beware. Iyakum ghalu, the Prophet Sallallahu said. Beware of extremism. So beware of these people who waste your time. And as far as then uh, the brother mentioned, and may Allah guide us in him, and you can read the other issues, but this is the, the main points that I wanted to touch on. He says, so amongst the people of knowledge that I know, and I have two people of knowledge that I know, one is the anti-Saudi camp, he makes tech fear to the Saudi government, and the other does not. And I think a lot of it has to do with the tafsir of Ibn Abbas in regards to the ayat, you and your video, about ruling with something other than what Allah has revealed. A'udhu billah. Tayyib. Barakallah fikum. Go back to the video, and... Hopefully, you gain some benefit from it. Other than the video, there are so many discussions from Ahlul Sunnah, from those people who have much more knowledge than me. And you can go into, if you have ishqal, you have any problems with something that I said or something that I read, which came from the cell of this ummah, then you can discuss that with those people. But as I've mentioned, and that is well known in Islam, that kufr is of two types, as the ulama have Distinguish. This is one categorization of kufr. That there's the major kufr and there's the minor kufr. There's kufr that takes you out of the fold of Islam. And the minor kufr does not take you out of the fold of Islam. But it is a major sin. So it's very important that this distinguishment, it comes from the statement of Ibn Abbas and the Mufassirin, those early tabi'in. That if you go back to the kalam of Mujahid, you go back to Tawus, you go back to those, those other Mufassirin, you will find that the leaders of the Mufassirin, those, those leaders in explaining the Qur'an, that they had this tafsir. So if you have a problem with that, may Allah guide us in you. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And then he said, I'm thinking about going to Sheikh's, I went to Saudi camp, blah, 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 tafsir, 
I go back to the tefsir yourself. I don't really have time to address all of those issues, but I just want to say that beware, beware of bis being misguided, because the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in a Sahih Hadith, as it was mentioned, "Khatta lana Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam khatta." The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam drew a line in the sand. "Thumma khatta ala yaminihi wa ala yisari." Then he drew a line on the right and he drew on the left. Or, or before that, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he drew the first line and he said, "Hada sabil Allah." He said, "This is the the path of Allah," meaning it's a straight path. And then he mentioned that one on the right and the one that he said, "Hada subul ala kull." Uh, he said, those are the various paths, the one on the right and the one on the left. When you're asking these various supposed sheikhs that made hijra to Denmark and doing whatever they're doing there, a lot of times, and I can't speak about these particular individuals specifically, but these, a lot of times, when the one busying themselves making takfir of, uh, of the ulama and takfir of the governments and this and that and the other, you can definitely say that this person is on the soup, one of the subul. He's on one of those paths, either the one on the right or one of the left, where the shaitan is, gui is guiding him. The shaitan is calling him. And he's at that path calling you. So fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Be of those who adhere to kitab Allah wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and understand there's only one ahl sunnati wal jama'ah. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, the Jews broke into 71 sects. And the Christians broke into 72 sects. And this Ummah should break into uh, 73 sects. All of them in the fire except one. And the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een said, Man hiya ya Rasulullah. Who is he? Who, are, who is it? Uh, which one is it? Ya Rasulullah. Qala nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam man kana ala mithi wa ma kana alayhi wa sahabi. The one who is upon what I'm upon and my companions are upon this day. This is what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. Letting us know that the ummah would break and still dividing that we have even people who adhere to the pristine name of, of the Salaf, but yet they have nothing in common with the Salaf. In Aqidah, in methodology, in understanding, in practice, nothing, but yet they just make the name. So we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said was incorrect was from myself and the Shaitan.